Hello, my lovelies. We're going to do the Ipsy Glam Bag today. But I wanted to talk to you first about like what's coming up next week and the state of my hair, et cetera, et cetera. So um, you may have noticed there's a green screen. Who gave this to me? Thank you. Uh, I'm still not positive about the lighting. I'm also wearing this green shirt in the hopes that it will, it's not quite the same shade, so it's probably not going to work, but hoping that it'll blend back and I'll look like a weird floating head because I'm that person. Um, any hoodles, I want to talk to you about my hair. So we did uh, the magazine curls for this week. Um, I have I have a good amount of body left. Uh, I do. Um, I told you I thought they would last. They will for the most part. Not The ends aren't super curly, but we had problems with the ends. But you will see the thirst of my hair. And if you watched yesterday's video, we talked about cuticles and things. Um, yeah. This is some thirsty hair. So one of the things I got in the glam bag was a hair mask. And that made me think, you know what? Between that little bit of serendipity and the fact that this is thirsty, um, all next month we are going to do um, deep conditioning methods because my hair is in dire need of it. Why does my hair look this way? <laughs> well, this past month it has had a lot more manipulation than it's used to. Uh, for the most part, I wear my hair in a bun or braid 90% of the time, unless I'm actually going somewhere. So it doesn't get a ton of manipulation. I put it in a style and then I just leave it alone. But this past month, it has gotten a lot of manipulation. Um, it's been put into shapes it's not used to being in. It has been brushed out of those shapes, so it's not happy. Um, all my cuticles are going right now. Um, and it needs moisturized immensely. So we're going to moisturize it. Um, I'm not saying that heatless curling methods are bad. They are not. That is the preferable way to go about curling your hair. I am just saying that doing them over and over within a short, shorter amount of time is not maybe so awesome. My hair. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do next month. We are going, we're going to feed my hair. <laughs> And hopefully I will be able to learn some things and recommend techniques and things to you. So that should be fun. Um, definitely more hair care next month. Uh, as far as uh, styles, um, I think we are actually going to go over the most protective hairstyles, which means they are not going to be things that are fancy or pretty. I mean, they'll still be pretty, but they're not going to be like my you know, fantasy series or anything cool. Um, we're next month, we are focusing on hair health, um, which is good. It's like back to school, which is when we all learn things. So I'm going to research the most protective styles and the best ways to keep your hair, especially if you've had a month like mine, uh, where your hair is just mad at you right now, like mine is, um, just to baby it for a month um, or three weeks of the month, I guess. So that's what we're doing um, after I come off break. So some of you are going to be really excited because you love that stuff. And some of you are like, oh, Torn, I already know all that stuff. I know. I know you. some of you guys know all this stuff already. Um, so either review or, or you don't even have to watch the videos, but you can encourage some of my other lovelies in the comment section with your awesome knowledge and what worked for you and different, because we all have different hair types. What worked for you and what didn't. We all have different hair types. My hair type is not the same as all of y'all's. But for every girl out there with hair like mine, I've got fine hair girls, curly girls, um, girls that have hair coarser than mine, girls have that have that liquid silk hair. Um, and you guys can find each other and help each other and let you know what works and what doesn't. Maybe the, the, the newer girls. We'll learn from my my crew of my hardcore uh, lovelies. So, yay! I'm really looking forward to next month. I think it's going to be awesome. So, all of that said, I think that was everything I wanted to go over. Um, at least that'll be Tuesdays and Wednesdays done. Mondays, we know that's just whatever happened. And Thursday, the thoughts. I'm not positive. Um, we might do uh, three movies next month. Um, I thought about being, maybe covering movies that I love that nobody else likes. 
And I know a lot of you are like, well, didn't we do that with all those 80s movies? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Actually, a lot of you like those same crazy movies that I liked. So I think I'm just going to pick three movies that I kind of have a soft spot for that most people just don't like. It's not that they're actively hated. They're just like, and I don't know why people don't like them because I find them delightful. So not deliberately bad movies, but just movies that nobody seems to like, but I kind of love. I think that's what we'll do on Thursday. Um, and then Friday. <laughs> we all know I never know what we're doing on Friday. <laughs> Uh, I bet one will be a glam bag, though. <laughs> Speaking of, wasn't that an amazing segue? <laughs> I got my glam bag. So as you know, I opened it because I knew about the one thing I got in here. Um, and I actually like to open them first so I can try things out. And I have those things are on my face. Um, so this month's glam bag, which most of you probably have by now. Mine was a little late is uh, Sugar Highness, woot. Um, I did get the pretty purple bag. Um, I like the bag. I like this painting with all this long hair and this, I'm gonna go that it's a fascinator of beauty products, even though they're just kind of sitting there, but it's pretty. And mine smells good. It smells like roses because I got a face wash. Now I have heard from a couple of you guys that got your glam bags and you got awesome glam bags. Mine is not. <laughs> it's not terrible. It has products that I will use, but it's not as cool as some of y'all's. So I got a rose facial cleansing gel. Um, they send me so many cleansers. And I yes, I have went through the thing and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need any more cleansers, thanks. But they just keep sending them to me. It smells like roses. I haven't even opened it. I can smell the roses. Um, will I use it? Sure. I mean, they're little tiny cleansers. You throw them in a bag, you take them on vacation if you actually get to go, and then you have cleanser on you, which is nice. Um, the other thing that I got is uh, the Lucetta Argan Oil Hair Mask um, for all hair types. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this entire bottle on my hair because, as we know, this is the best one. <laughs> I'm going to need the whole bottle. This is a one use item for me. Um, yeah. And it's like use weekly. Yeah. This is, this is going to be a one-time use with all of my hair, but you know, Ipsy doesn't realize that I have four feet of hair. So, um, but we'll see how it works. We'll see if it conditions. So that will be super fun for next, next month. Um, now to the three items that I will get a little more use out of. Uh, the first thing is the uh, Rodial Smoky Eye Pen. Now, my friend Rose informed me she got the uh, eyeliner gel, the gel eyeliner, which I would have really liked to have gotten, Ipsy. But instead, I got this Smoky Eye Pen. It is not a pen. I was initially excited because I thought this was going to be one of those like fine tip markers. And I'm like, oh, my God, look at the size of it. This is going to be awesome. Now, I am wearing it. And as you can see, it is already smudging a bit. I did not deliberately smudge it. It's made of beeswax. It's not a pen, it's a pencil. You have to sharpen it. Why is it called a pen? Anybody care to explain that? It's black. Um, this is what I will say. It goes on super smooth, super smooth. Like it is not bumpy or skippy. I mean, this is super, super smooth. And if you wanted to do like fancy stuff, like you can draw like a dream, but it smudges. So you really, really want to set it. I'm just, just FYI. Um, it is nice full size. I will use it. I used it today. Um, it's thick though. You know, you're not going to get a super fine line. So this is definitely for like the thicker kind of deal. Um, it feels nice, but it smudges. Um, you ready? It smudges, so just so you know. Um, but if you're one of those girls that likes the smudgy eyeliner, maybe this would be perfect for you. I don't know your life. Um, I got um, a sample size a Tarte mascara called Tartist. Um, this is what the ooh, what the brush looks like. It's a pretty fat brush. Um, it was not how well can you see? I don't know. Pretty decent eyelashes. Um, and not clumpy and it's not bothering my contacts. So I will use this until it's gone. So thank you, Tarte. I, everything I've gotten from Tarte thus far has been pretty good. So I think the next time I'm at Ulta, I'm going to go and check the Tarte section. 
And finally, I got a Lord and Berry Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick in Intimacy. It's what I'm wearing. It's a good color. It's on the pinker side of a nude lip. Not nude. Neutral, I guess. It's a nice neutral. It's a good pink for me and my really paleness, my pale self. Um, I like it because it's not too, too, too pink, but it's not orangey or brown because usually I keep getting these orangey brown things that don't go with my skin. This goes well. Um, it's not too drying. It is matte. It's not 100% kiss. You can barely see that, though. It's not 100% kiss proof, you see? But it, that's pretty good. I mean, that's not bad. So that's a winner. That's my favorite thing. That and surprisingly, the mascara. I like these. Um, it's pretty much worth it for the lipstick and the mascara this month. And who knows? Perhaps this stuff will be amazing. And this will also be. Um, the only thing I'm super disappointed in is the cleanser. Because come on, y'all. Um, but yeah, really pretty bag this month. So that's nice. So that was our Ipsy bag for the month. And I already talked to you about hair. Um, as far as I have notes, I just want to make sure. As far as everything else. Um, yeah, next week is my week off. I was debating um, on Monday. I, w I was debating just doing a real short bid so we could see how the curl held up. Um, but... Like I said, uh, my hair is still really textured. Um, it will continue to be so, but it looks really dry and frizzy. So I'm going to actually begin doing the deep treatments and filming those for next month. Um, I do just because <sighs> it's so thirsty. It's starting to feel like hay, and I don't like it when it feels like this. So there will be a lot uh of just letting it air dry and not torturing it and putting it up <laughs> because, oh, <laughs> it needs it. Um, it. It is time to, to be nice to it. So, uh, yeah. So next week, I won't see you. Um, I'm not going to pop in on Monday. Uh, but know that this one is going to keep your hair in a, a form of texture. Um, depending on how well your curls turned out or your waves, uh, depending on if you wrap them flat or twisted. If you did them flat, you got rag curls. If you twisted, you got the waves. Just from me to you, twist and get the waves. They won't be nearly as bad when you go to brush them out. I'm just saying. Just saying. So, um, any hoodles, yeah. Uh, you, may, you may need, if you have been doing the heatless curls with me, you may need deep conditioning next month. So, yeah. Also, I would love to say thank you to whomever got me this green screen. I do not know what background I have up. But I'm really looking forward to putting crazy stuff up there that does not necessarily have anything to do with what I'm talking about because I am a dork and that is the way of things. So I don't know what I'm sitting in front of, but let's hope it's something fun. <laughs> And let's also hope that I am floating head because that delights me. Um, I don't know. There. Am I, am I floating head? Probably not. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. I love you guys. I'm going to stop fiddle farting around and uh, I'll see you uh, week after next. Until then, I hope everybody has a wonderful next week. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Two weekends in a row. And yeah, all that jazz. Okay. I love you guys. Be good at it. I'll never tell you to be totally good. Just be good at it. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.